Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number two, second war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called the Black Order Thanos. So I've already scouted out my path. I don't see any difficulties on my path with this team of attackers. I'm going in with my standard team of attackers, Warlock, Omega Red, and Nick Fury. All right, now I take path two in sections one and two not the most difficult of paths okay uh so this first node you can see they did not place a defender which is common they might want to save their strongest and more difficult defenders for other nodes okay so the first one we're going to be fighting here on this path is red hulk and you can see the nodes that i have to deal with here they have chosen the global stubborn which is by far the most popular that i have seen uh, since I've been doing Alliance War, and they added that uh, defense tactic. All right, so we're going in here. Now, uh, Red Hulk is not difficult to fight. I've fought him in his more powerful incarnation in Labyrinth of Legends. All right, so I chose to go in here with Omega Red. Now, there's a couple of reasons that I did that. Uh, Omega Red allows me to ignore that node for the most part, okay? I run suicides. So I really don't want to fire off tons of specials. But if you'll notice, the node, when the counters go down to zero, you're going to be suppressed in your power gain. Uh, but this one uh, is um, not the power one. This one is the uh, Fury. But what I can do is I can avoid firing off specials because Omega Red doesn't really need to fire off a lot of specials. Those spores do a lot of damage and I can finish it off with a special three as you saw, or I could just rotate special threes if I want to, um, if I can get um, high enough there. Uh, but that went pretty smoothly, okay? Uh, sometimes the fights don't go too smoothly. All right, so as you saw, we weren't cleared when we were done, now we are clear. You see that one of my alliance mates was tagged. He was gonna take this mini, but he wasn't there. And I checked and the mini boss was clear and I didn't see any reason that I couldn't take this mini. Now, normally I will wait for instructions and if we already have a plan, like he's gonna take uh, the mini, I'll sit back and not do anything. But uh, they have wanted us to be a bit more proactive rather than waiting for orders. If you think you can uh, take a fight, then go ahead and take the fight. So I went ahead and took this fight here. You know, um, Nick Fury with Stubborn, he's my best Stubborn attacker by far. Love him, okay? He made short work of that Venom. Nick Fury is a beast, okay? Love him. Definitely my favorite uh, skill champion. And for Alliance War, my MVP. Now, I was not going to jump in there against this Dr. Doom. We have folks that really rock on this node and fighting Dr. Doom. But I looked just to see, you know, what this uh, node looked like. But I wasn't about to tackle that. Uh, so for this one, since I was not feeling confident, I waited and they already had a plan. Someone else came in cleared the uh, Dr. Doom. All right, so I went ahead on to the next section where I also take path number two. Now, I took a risk fighting with Nick Fury. If I had messed up really bad, I could have used up the life model decoy and the real Nick Fury would have been out and I would have lost that little extra life buffer. And I knew that I was gonna have to fight Hyperion. Now. In the past, what people would do is they would boost up with an invulnerability boost. And then they would just fight Hyperion, you know, try to bait it out. But if they didn't, so what? They could tank, you know, three special threes with the invulnerability boost as long as they didn't mess up and get hit a bunch of times, okay? But with Nick Fury, you can do the same and you don't need it. So you see here, he almost got to a special three, but I am ready for that. I can tank a special three from uh, Hyperion, uh, possibly two, you know, if my health is up uh, enough, okay? 
Uh, so we were able to fight him just normally, you know, without too much difficulty, you know, bait him out. He was firing his specials off just fine. Uh, and I'm like, ooh, I might be able to come out of this fight with uh, my uh, life model decoy intact. All right. So right now he's in indestructible. And boom. That was nice. Okay. I usually hate fighting Hyperion because of that you know, power gain, and sometimes he'll be passive, and then you're eating a special three. But with Nick Fury, wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. All right, so next up, we've got Emma Frost. Now, Emma Frost, when she first came into the contest, I could not stand the mechanic that she brought with her, which was reverse controls. That was the first time, I believe, we encountered reverse controls. You also have to watch. This Emma Frost is awakened so you have to deal with reverse controls. If the Emma was not awakened, you don't have to deal with reverse controls. All right, now in her diamond form, she's immune to so many different things, but I still wanted to bring in Nick Fury because eventually uh, I can get her out of that diamond form if I push her to a certain bar of power. All right, so see here, she's out of diamond form because she has more power than I do. She fired her special off so now what I have to do is push her past the bar of power again. And when I fire off a special or I go down uh, below her, uh, she will, when she has a bar of power, that is, she has to be over a bar of power and I have to have less power than she does. Like right now, okay? She has a bar of power, I have less, so she's not in diamond form. Now I can bleed her. Boom, look at that bleed go. Okay, and I'm trying to hold the block so that she doesn't um, fire off her special, okay? Just look at this, and I'm going right down to the wire, got her down. I messed up a little bit early on. Uh, I just messed up, you know, uh, but we were able to pull it out. So I lost a lot of health, but still in good shape for Nick Fury, still in good shape. All right, so now I'm looking at this Iron Man Infinity War, and I was asked, to take this Iron Man Infinity War down. I was not 100% confident. Uh, when I fight Iron Man Infinity War, uh, I fought him with uh, Hyperion first. When he first came into the contest, I was using Hyperion in Alliance War. Then I got Corvus. And so I was fighting him with Corvus after that. Undefeated in Alliance War, at least on my path, against Iron Man Infinity War. But these new nodes and everything, I wasn't sure how to deal with him on this node. All right. So Warlock can do it. OK, Warlock can absolutely do it. But I messed up and you will see how I messed up here uh, in a moment. All right. So I'm going. I got the infection up and you want to keep that infection up. And that's where I slipped up. I let the infection go and I should have just kept parrying, parrying and making sure that that infection was on. And then you saw that. So now I'm like, oh no, I'm about to die without really doing much of anything. But look at his health, okay? I needed to keep the infection up, didn't, got caught, and that was that, all right? So I'm like, okay, that didn't go very well at all, okay? Now, I remember fighting him uh, again another time, uh, but this particular time, I did get the infection on him, and I, I did do a decent job of the infection, but when I messed up right there, I was completely thrown off my game. I was, I was not sure what I was doing. Panicked a little bit, and then just got wrecked, okay? So I'm like, all right, I looked over, you saw I was looking over at the boss island, uh, seeing where everyone was at. And now I'm like, okay, let's do this again, this time with Omega Red. And I'm gonna try to counter heavy with heavy, get those um, spores on him, and just basically spore him down, okay? That was the idea. Now, I've fought him with Omega Red, against him with Omega Red, mostly in Alliance, I mean, in uh, uh, Arena. So that is one of the benefits of, of doing a lot of Arena. Uh, I've at least 
been somewhat familiar with how I need to counter and deal with him with different champions as I encountered them in the arena. And down he went. Okay. Uh, I probably, and, and when I remember this war, I was told to use Warlock in that fight. And I wasn't 100% sure that that would have been the best one. But Warlock can do it. But Omega Red, to me, was a far better choice to fight that Iron Man Infinity War. Um, but in any case, now I was asked to fight this Mojo. So, of course, being a good little soldier, uh, I was like, okay. And I could take Mojo, I think, with my Nick Fury. But remember, Nick Fury is kind of hurt right now. Okay, uh, I believe the real Nick Fury is out currently. Uh, I believe so, yeah. All right, so what I'm doing here against Mojo, I don't want to evade, and I don't want to take off Dexterity, by the way. Um, I know that was the suggestion a lot of people had, take off Dexterity, but I already use a lot of units to place defenders without suicides. And if I end up using units again to redo my masteries, I'd rather not. But if my Nick Fury had been healthier, you know, I would have been able to take that mojo. As you see, he almost took that mojo anyway. All right. But it is what it is. Uh, we will go in here and Omega Red, once again, is playing cleanup. All right. So we're going in and we're going to try our best not to dex too much. All right. And uh, let them spores just tick away. As you see, and that happens. Uh, I think uh, the guy had limber on or something like that, or maybe I just mistimed my heavy, but that happens, okay? But he went down to the spores before he could really get going and uh, tear into me. So now I'm like, okay, I've done some, uh, you know, good work. Uh, I died, which I hate doing um, a couple of times, but it is what it is, you know? Um, but we got Mojo down in the end. So I took a break thinking, okay, you know, I did, you know, enough work. I don't have guys in, in great shape here. Um, now I was asked to fight that MODOK as well. Uh, but by the time I came back from my break, MODOK had already gone down and I was asked to take out Spider Gwen on this node here. I already knew going into this, how this fight would end. I don't have good counters uh, for her. And with the limber and the spry, I already knew that this was not going to be pretty at all. Okay. But since I was asked to go ahead and, you know, fight her, I went ahead like a good little soldier and fought her anyway, put in, you know, my boost and tried to do as much damage as I could. Okay. So here we go. First thing, she came out of it a little bit faster than I was expecting. And I'm like, all right, let me just try to hit her enough. Nope, didn't work. I evaded, but look at that. She's indestructible. Okay, look at this. I'm trying to get some hits in, all right? I'm evading her. I'm trying to do all I can. You know, she's indestructible, all right? Whoop, couldn't even get a heavy in. And it was over with. So I knew that's how that was going to happen, okay? Um, but that was my participation in this war uh we'll be back and i'll give you a little bit of a behind the scenes of what's going on here and we'll find out how we did and we're back and as you can see we won this war now before the war was over we did know we were going to win because they were doing a boss rush and so as long as we explored and got the map done we knew we were going to win. Okay. But that's going to do it guys. I know I said earlier in the video that I was going to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes, but after I recorded it all and I looked at how long this video was, I decided to just go ahead and put that in another video for later. Okay. So that's going to do it for this video. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.